Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying chapter number 2, Similarity. In this video, we will be studying Apollonius theorem, which is again a very important theorem. In this chapter, we have done many theorems and all the theorems are been uh, added to a playlist named as theorem for class 10 2023 y'all can go and watch all the theorems explanation of all the de th theorems in detail is been given in that playlist so let's start with the theorem in triangle a b c if m is the midpoint of side b c then a b square plus a c square is equal to 2 m square plus 2 b m b b m square okay so again i will repeat a b square plus a c square is equal to 2 a m square this plus 2 b m that is this square okay so this is the statement from apollonius theorem now what has been given it has been given that a b c is a triangle m is the midpoint remember m is the midpoint and this is a perpendicular drawn. Okay? So don't get confused with these two lines. So this is a midpoint and this is a perpendicular drawn on BC. Now what we have to prove? We have to prove AB square plus AC square is equal to 2AM square plus 2BM square. This you all have to prove. Now comes the construction. As I said, you all have to construct a perpendicular ad which is perpendicular to the segment bc i think these three points are clear from the diagram only you all have to refer and write it okay so make sure you all draw the diagram just in front of given to prove and construction now you have to prove if segment am is not perpendicular to segment bc then out of angle a m b a m c okay so two angles are formed a m b a m c if a m is not perpendicular obviously it's not perpendicular it's the midpoint and it is not perpendicular whereas a d is perpendicular over here okay so one is obtuse angle and the other is acute angle so once a midpoint is drawn you will see you will get two types of angles that is an obtuse angle and an acute angle Okay. one will be more than 90 degree one will be less than 90 degree so this is an important statement which you all have to mention on this statement your other things are going to be depend upon so in the figure angle a m b a m b is the obtuse angle and a m c is the acute angle for example one and two above from example one and two from above which they have mentioned now, over here, what we have to prove is AB square is equal to AM square plus MB square plus 2BM into MD. This is the first thing that we are going to get from the statement. Again, I will explain AB square is equal to AM plus MB plus 2BM into MD. Okay. So, this is going to be your first reason and similarly AC square is equal to AM square plus MC square minus. Now, over here plus Y because it was an obtuse angle. Minus Y because it's an acute angle. So, remember this difference. So, minus 2MC into MD got it so again this thing is also important plus and minus thing you'll have to remember and take into consideration obtuse and acute here that is why plus and minus thing that i have mentioned over here now ac square ac square is equal to a m square plus m b square minus 2 b m into m d wherein bm is equal to mc bm is equal to mc because it's a midpoint a midpoint divides the segment into two equal part therefore e this and this line or segment is equal therefore instead of writing bn and mc they have directly written md 
okay so remember you all have to mention this the reason because because of the midpoint the segment is divided into two equal parts now adding one and two you all have to add this statement and this statement so from here you have got a b plus a c this complete is first okay children not only this line this complete is first so a b plus a c is equal to 2 a m square plus 2 b m square see similar things are there in this and this statement first and second statement and what we have taken this 2 is taken where only ac was mentioned for the second reason but we have taken or we have already taken ac so therefore these two statement that is 2 am plus 2 mb okay 2 am square plus 2 mb square this is a little confusing but if you all are going to uh, watch it properly you will be able to understand these two these two segments you all have to take to the left hand side these two you all have to take to the right hand side write the proof uh, yourself if segment am is perpendicular to segment bc now they have given over here that you all have to prove and write it on your own also you all can write it on or directly also you all can write segment am is perpendicular to segment bc am am is perpendicular to bc this we can write in the form of proof from this example we can see that relation among the sides and the medians of a triangle this is known as apollonius theorem so over here they have just mentioned the statement that is to be proved over here okay i hope this theorem is clear to everyone while solving if you all are finding anything difficult or anything which is not clear to you all do let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye